Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about how you can create a simple website by using web3.js. Uh, for this I'm following the given tutorial uh, written by Sean Tabritzi here on November the 2nd, 2017 and explaining in fact uh, what uh, I've been through and what I discovered. So here I didn't create uh, anything, I'm just following this given tutorial plus adding some knowledge that I found here and there. Um, if you fell on his uh, page, I would say uh, don't do like I did, such as uh, following the full tutorial and uh, copying and pasting the last part over here without, uh, let's say, paying attention to the first line, which in fact is just saying, okay, those are the last uh, updates. So uh, if you would like to have on this first uh, web page, uh, showing up. Uh, the best thing is not to follow the, this uh, tutorial, but free really to go directly on on GitHub. Uh, here in GitHub, uh, you just do a Git clone of uh, the repository, and then uh, you can uh, start to play with it. So um, I rather prefer to show you this, and uh, then to explain uh, just after uh, what have been produced. So uh, we just uh, copy here the uh, the repository. And then uh, what we do is that uh, we're going to create um, a location. So I'm just going to call it like uh, Floss Blockchain, like something like this, Floss Blockchain. Okay. Uh, then I'm going to enter within it. Okay. And now I'm going to do my Git clone and I'm going to, let's say, copy and paste the full uh, repository. So uh, here I have it. So for the one who know a little bit, uh, git and github uh, the command line i just typed in is in fact copying everything that we have up here which is very handy because uh, here we have everything that we need so to say web3.js uh, and we have as well uh, the web page so for example here if i go for uh, firefox and uh, index.html i get straight away the page that the guy designed so in fact he uh, created a website which is very simple and which is great in order to start, which consists of uh, discussing with the Ethereum blockchain and uh, tell you the balance of any given uh, Ethereum address which are on the mainnet Ethereum blockchain. This is exactly what he's doing. And of course, here you get the source code of uh, the app. So this is what is uh, really useful. So as this given link, which as well um, give you directly the access to uh, web3.js, which is the library designed in order to discuss uh, from the web to uh, the blockchain. So this is uh, what, you, what you need to know. Web3 is uh, library in order to uh, to discuss with a blockchain and this is in fact uh, the additional let's say feature functions that uh, you can see over here the rest is um, kind of full uh, I mean in fact everything over here is JavaScript it's just that uh, web 3.js uh, is the library to add the additional uh, let's say functions to make the JavaScript code working. Okay, um, so here we are. Uh, we have then our, um, our, um, our project, which is, uh, which is copied. And um, now what we want is actually to start to discuss with the blockchain. And for this, as you can see, it's asking us to get an Ethereum address. In order to get uh, one Ethereum address, one way you can do it, is to go on etherscan.io, which is uh, nothing more than the website, which is, uh, let's say, browsing the Ethereum network and listing you all the different transactions and making them available uh, through a web uh, interface. Uh, so I'm going to just pick up um, a transaction address that I have not yet played with, uh, just in order to show you that it works. I'm going to take this one, for example. So here is, oh no, this one is a contract that's not an address. So from, uh, doo -doo -doo, uh, maybe this address. Okay, this is an address and um, it has no value at all. So that's not, um, that's not very useful. I'm probably gonna try to find another one where there's money on it because the script is in fact um, giving us the, the balance. So let's take 
let's take this one okay yeah but like this one has no from to this one too okay does this one represent an address okay let's hope it is so i'm going to copy this one and i'm going to paste it uh, i'm going to paste it uh, over here okay i'm going to check if it's gonna work okay great it doesn't work which is interesting because that's probably what i wanted to show you okay great um so here i'm entered an address and i guess i'm gonna get an error message over here okay no web3 detected and so on and so forth which is true because i didn't mention okay that's great okay uh so uh to me it's currently working i'm gonna now explain you why so typically what this website is doing, so it represents do, 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 it represent the given source code that we have over here. Okay. So this is the project and this is what's happening. So this is full HTML so far. So this is the link to the library in order to get the web three. Uh, functions and features in order to be able to use them afterward in JavaScript and to discuss with the Ethereum blockchain. Here uh, we have the part of the script which is um, discussing with uh, the Ethereum network and here this part is if you are using um, a browser which does not support the possibility to discuss with the blockchain and for this here the part of the script is in fact asking you to uh, register to subscribe to a service named infura.io which uh, is uh, playing as an intermediary and then allowing you uh, allowing your browser to discuss with uh, with a blockchain um, so that's the reason why it was not working with Firefox because here I did not enter the API key uh, that I can get when I subscribe to Infura. I'm going to overcome this uh, issue by in fact using a browser which supports in fact uh, discussing with the blockchain. I'm going to use next in fact the Brave browser so that's going to fit within this given line of code and then here um, so this part is in order to connect to the blockchain and then hereafter is about um, using the different function in order to uh, ask something to the blockchain and in fact here what it's doing is it's going to grab the um, address that we're going to insert within the field the html field here below uh, through uh, on click and we get balance so that's why we're going to call this given function and what this part is doing is that here we are playing with ethereum address and ethereum address have different units and one of them is the way and i have the feeling that in fact when you invoke the get balance it's getting the value in y which is not very useful in fact way i think is the equivalent of a satoshi or uh, something like this and as a result when uh, when you use it so this is the way uh, i think one way is the equivalent yes of a satoshi in bitcoin or something like this means that uh, you need of course to make the full conversion in order to uh, get uh, a unit which talk to you which is ether uh, so that's the reason why you get all this stuff out in order to say okay get the value in y and then i'm doing something in order to get the final balance in, in ether this is what it is uh, it is doing so don't bother you ju just do a git clone you get this project and then you open it up with firefox or uh, brave uh, so brave support in fact uh, the discussion uh, with web3 and i guess this is because brave support a protocol which is called rpc uh, which is not the case of firefox yet so that's the reason why when i was on firefox over here it was uh, not working and if i was looking through uh, the console it's telling me okay no web3 detected using http provider and as the http provider is not filled with the ap api key that's why it's not working uh, if we go on brave so same uh, i'm going to take the same url like this you'll see that i'm not dubs that i'm not uh, cheating or anything so go over here and just gonna 
paste it like this. Okay, uh, so now I need uh, to get my this address. And normally, if I'm lucky enough, I'm gonna get what I want. So to say, I'm gonna get. Um, I should have get inspect. Um, so here it's telling me mainnet infura API key is missing, which is fine. It is missing um, because it should uh, ended up fine. So I guess it's maybe web three you know, network. Okay. the balance and here it's still telling me mm, that the API key is missing well normally it doesn't uh, need it as brave support it and I'm on brave so there's no reason why it shouldn't work so if it needs it well no worries, we are going to provide it with one. So I'm just going to do like a nano index and now I need to change this part out. Um, I would rather prefer not to use it because it wasn't. Just going to just remove this part out. Oops. And uh, Okay, so still some issues, so no worries, I'm going to just go over here. So this is the uh, Infura website, and on the Infura website, you can create one given token. Here, pay attention, uh, you need to have the V3, okay? It won't work if you don't have the V3. And then I'm going to just paste it over here as requested. I wish wouldn't have to pass with infra but as I said I don't know why now it's, it's asking me to get it so uh, and I'm just picking out this given this given address and now lovely it works as you can see um, so yeah no idea why it wasn't uh, why it was working before and now it's not working but that's, that's the way it is so here okay I'm not on the right website so that's the reason why it's not working and if I'm on this one and that I request this one now it's gonna work like this all good so here same thing need to be refreshed and get the value uh, does this value is the right one? Just gonna double check. Take this one. Uh, here the value should be close to yeah a lot, <laughs> seventy to something. And if I go over here, seventy to something. So uh, here it works as you can see. I'm just concerned about as I said dealing with, with this part. Normally this word should work anyway without it for Brave. So I'm gonna go back over here. I'm gonna again just enter this. Well no idea why they need to have infer here but yeah probably that's the reason why it doesn't work. So okay keep in mind then that uh, you need to have the infra API key anyway. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.